Well, praise the Lord Jesus who has provided this beautiful flathead catfish in answer to prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the purpose of the video today is to demonstrate how uh, I fillet uh, flathead catfishes with manual knives. My electric knife video was very popular, so I thought I'd show how to do it uh, with the manual knife. Kind of like gutting a deer, you're trying to make the first cut to get in there without uh, without opening up. Just open up the guts without opening up the stuff inside the guts. If that makes sense. It's not about being someone else There's healing and being true There is room at the cross for you All right, one of the advantages of gutting it before you fillet it is that you don't end up uh, opening the guts in an ugly way during the fillet process. So the first cut uh, is going to be behind the gill plate, down the backbone, and we're doing it with a stouter knife because we're gonna go ahead and cut through the ribs as we're taking the fillet off. Alright, once you get the uh, fillet separated from the backbone, and this is one very nice uh, flathead catfish fillet, I like to use the smaller Dexter Russell. This is a Dexter Russell uh, 7 inch, this is a Dexter Russell 9 inch. I have to go ahead and separate it from the skin. Notice I'm holding the fillet parallel to the cutting board. But I'm not really feeling like I need to get it too, too close to the skin. And here's why. The meat close to the skin is often that bloody meat is not the best meat anyway. If you leave some of that red meat, I'm going to cut that, cut that pin out of the way. and just gets in the way. Right. Mm. 
All right, so by not squeezing the board too hard with the knife, most of this uh, red meat that's along here stayed on the skin. All right, so one very nice uh, flat head fillet. We're gonna go ahead and neck cut here. We're gonna go ahead and take out the ribs and then we'll separate the belly meat from the ribs uh, in the next step. Belly meat, peel along where the ribs are. And we'll go ahead and separate the belly meat from the ribs. So a lot of times I use a cross handed technique, but getting through these ribs with a manual knife has a little more force. So I'll prefer applying that much force uh, left to right. So I'm going to do it this way. Down to the ribs with the first cut, turn the knife to the right. Through the ribs. Let me go through the spine there. I'm not going through the spine. No, we're still on the right proper side of the spine. Okay. Gonna rinse that off. That's a mess. All right, makes it easier to get the fillet off the skid to go ahead and trim out any fins that ended up in there in that last cut. And my knife got a little dull, so better sharpen the knife before the cut, especially the most important more delicate cuts like separated from the skin. Once again, by not hugging the skin too close, a lot of that red meat that's up here came off, so we'll need a lot of trimming. And now we'll go ahead and cut out the ribs. And you feel where the ribs are in the belly meat. The line of ribs is right here. The one cut right here. Separates the ribs from the belly meat. All right, my wife will probably trim this up a little bit more before we bag it or cook it. All right, so praise the Lord Jesus, two very nice flathead catfish fillets and both sides of the belly meat. Thank you, Jesus. Look!